Okay, what's going on, everybody? What is up? Hello, hello, and welcome. What's up? Phil here. Live on the stream, this is my first of two gameplay streams for today, which is Wednesday, September 27th, 2017. How are you? <clears throat> Hopefully you're doing well. Um, another day, uh, I'd say similar to yesterday, except a little bit different. You know, yesterday, when I played Marvel versus Capcom Infinite, I played against a friend of mine for about an hour and a half, and then switched over to Ranked Play. Today will exclusively be Ranked Play, okay? <clears throat> So, yes, that should be fun. Um, this is the final day of ranked play in MVC Infinite. Um, tomorrow, I'll be changing up the session. Tomorrow, I'll actually be playing against viewers. I'll be setting up a lobby <clears throat> by which you can join and play me live on stream. <clears throat> so, for those of you who own MVC Infinite and you've been watching me play all week and you were like, man, I'd like to play Phil, tomorrow will be your opportunity, okay? <clears throat> I know there's a few people who... Uh, have been wanting to play me. I mean, that Anonymous played me right at the get-go of the game, and they never got to play me again because we couldn't match up for whatever reason. I tried to join a lobby, it wouldn't even work. So, <clears throat> hopefully tomorrow, this will work, and people will be able to join, and we'll have a fun session of people beating each other up in a lobby tomorrow. That should be good. <clears throat> so, today will be exclusively just ranked multiplayer for me to get my final experience in before tomorrow. Um, this will also be an attempt... For me to hit rank 10. Rank 10 is actually the final rank where you get a trophy for hitting it. And right, right now I'm rank 11. So I'm very close to doing it. I think I'm about halfway to 10. If I just play all ranked today. And if I don't horribly suck. And I actually win matches. I'm thinking I should hit rank 10 today. But I guess we'll see. <clears throat> so that should be good. Hope that you will join me both today's stream and tomorrow's stream. Um, tonight more uh, Mario plus Rabbids. I'm in the end game. I'm in the final world, and I'm, I'm starting chapter, or, or stage 7, I believe. Uh, there's only 8 stages, and then the final boss. So, I'm really close to beating Mario plus Rabbids. Uh, we'll see how it goes tonight, but the good news is I have both tonight and tomorrow night to play it. So there's no rush. If I don't beat it tonight, I have tomorrow night to, to play it as well. <clears throat> so that should be good. And then Friday, we have the release of Cuphead. Yes, Cuphead, the... Old school style shoot 'em up game with uh, old school cartoony looking graphics and Xbox One and Windows exclusive. Um, why people are playing it on Twitch right now is because they got advanced copies and they're playing it even though they're not supposed to be. And for whatever reason, Twitch isn't shutting them down. Because already people were asking me, Phil, why aren't you playing Cuphead? Like, it's not out yet. <laughs> it's not out yet. And the bottom line is, people are so money hungry, they play these games early to make a paycheck rather than actually being fucking gamers. What else can I say? Uh, that's the God's honest truth about it. They. Rush out to try to any means necessary to get games early to make a buck. <clears throat> so, there you have it, folks. I'll be playing that on Friday when it actually releases. <laughs> and then so over the weekend, it'll be me playing Cuphead, uh, balanced with a little bit more MVC. I'm also planning on doing a session of Ultra Street Fighter 2. Um, and I'm going to be doing, attempting to do be doing longer sessions. For Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I'm going to attempt to do longer gameplay sessions in order to get maximum footage recorded so that I have videos to upload while I'm away during the week. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> so, yes, it should be pretty fun. Um, the next few days, jam-packed full of fun stuff. And, you know, me doing as much as I can to prepare for my impending time off. So, let's talk about that. If you're not aware, if you haven't been checking out pre-streams recently, you may not know what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> I'll be taking time off this coming week. All right. This coming week, starting on Wednesday, which is the 4th of October? Yes. Starting the 4th of October, I will be taking time away from streaming for four days. So that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, no live streams. There will be a stream on the 3rd, and there will be a stream on the, the 8th, which is Sunday. But those streams will be basically one stream per day, okay? Timing and everything on that to be determined, I'll tell you as we get closer to it. Um, four days with no streaming, hopefully what I'm hoping is I can get myself physically... You know, all healed up. <clears throat> oh, as you can hear, my sinuses today, I'm nasty, nasal drip and shit, pissing me off. Um, <clears throat> my throat has been getting much better, but it's still a little bit gunked up. I'm hoping to have that clear up. Um, I'm hoping to clean my house, you know, give it a good once-over, and get a few other things, you know, just done. Just having time away. Having peace of mind, time away from the streaming, from the gaming, because the bottom line is when I come back, we are hitting the ground running. 
We've got Middle Earth Shadow of War, The Evil Within 2, South Park The Fractured Butthole, Assassin's Creed Origins, Wolfenstein, The New Colossus, and Mario Odyssey, all within a three-week time period in October. In addition, there's rumors of episodic games. There's a lot going on, man. A ton. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so that being said, um, we are going to be so busy with big-ass AAA new releases over the course of October that that month is going to fly by. And then November's no different. I mean, Call of Duty World War II, Sonic Forces, Need for Speed Payback, um... Star Wars Battlefront 2, amongst other new games. Uh, there's uh, so much going on. Seriously. Uh, it's going to be insane. Insane amount of fun gaming coming up soon. Um, so, that being said, obviously, the time off will be perfect. It'll allow me to recharge and rejuvenate myself before we get two straight months of incredible amounts of gaming goodness. And then it looks like the next time that I might be taking a little bit of time off would probably be early December. Um, it looks like in early December there are like no new releases at all. So it would probably be a good opportunity then to take a couple days off because I know for a fact there's a Resident Evil 7 DLC and there's something else also coming out in like mid-December. So probably taking a, you know, a couple days off in early December to rejuvenate and then boom, play all those new releases. Um, maybe maybe play other games that people want to see me play but I haven't had a chance like continuing Yakuza Kiwami or Danganronpa 3 or other amongst other stuff, okay? <clears throat> Should be pretty fun. <clears throat> ah, it's refreshing water. <laughs> okay. So there you go. Schedule-wise, now you know what to expect, honestly, for the next few months. You know where I'll be. Right here, parked here, playing games every day, having fun with you guys on stream. Okay? <clears throat> Sound good? All right. Um, well, I've got great news, folks. I've got absolutely great news for everybody. Um, the past couple of days have been really good in regards to Patreon. We've had people stepping up and pledging. I think people are finally taking it seriously that, you know, if you want to see this Halloween Horror Marathon happen, <clears throat> that you have to step up and pledge. Um... As of last night, okay, we had a bunch of people who pledged out of nowhere. One person in particular pledged a very large amount. And we are just a few bucks away from hitting the monthly funding goal, folks. <clears throat> in fact, I think it's like, I don't know, because I don't, don't quote me on this, because I did not 100% check last night, or this morning, excuse me, I should have said this morning, because I think a few people did pledge. But basically, we were within a few dollars of actually qualifying for the monthly goal, okay? <clears throat> and, uh... Right now, all we need is, like, a couple more people to pledge, and we're good. Now, keep in mind, I just want to throw this out there. This is all hinging on the fact that people whose pledges are ongoing do not withdraw their pledges last minute and or have all their pledges bounce, okay? Um, typically, every month, there are people whose pledges bounce. But, usually, I message them, and then within a week, they, uh, they go ahead and they get that cleared up, and then a lot of them end up clearing anyway. So, as long as there's no horrendous, you know dip in in ongoing pledges, we're going to hit the goal. Now, here's the thing. We still got three and a half days left in the month, folks. There's still all of today, and then there's the 28th, the 29th, and the 30th of September. <clears throat> so here's the thing. I know there were probably a bunch of people who were like, man, I'd really like to get in on that goal and, and nominate horror games for the marathon and vote on the costume that Phil will wear, but we're way far away from the goal, and I don't want to pledge and then not hit it. Well, folks, the bottom line is, at this point, it's almost certain we're going to hit it. So if you pledge now, you're going to guarantee that we hit it. Okay? So in the next three and a half days, if you pledge five bucks or more, we're pretty much guaranteed to hit this funding goal. Alright? Um, I really don't foresee something so awfully horrendous happening that, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars of pledges that were already ongoing pledged don't, don't clear. I don't foresee that happening. Okay? And I do want to say thank you to those who did rally in the last few days. In particular, there's one person that did a really large pledge, and I'm not going to give them a shout-out because they didn't ask for it, and I don't want to, you know, go out overstep my boundaries here. Um, even though I am very appreciative that this person did it. And by the way, it's not who people ever... Oh, I know who it is. It's fucking Viking. Viking always does it. No, it wasn't him. So stop that shit. <clears throat> um, but, you know, there were a lot of people. Honestly, not just this one person, but a lot of people who were upping their pledges. I noticed. People who maybe had ongoing pledges and they all upped their pledges and everything because they want this goal to happen. So thank you to everyone who did that. I am very appreciative of that. Okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, it's pretty much, in sh you know... All but I say all button shirt because I don't want to say that because you know what'll happen. I'll say, oh, we did it. We 100% hit it, and then some horrendous thing will happen. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but no, like I said, if you were waiting, if you were biding your time and you didn't want to pledge because you were wondering, gee, I wonder what'll happen if you know we don't hit the goal. I don't want to pledge and then not have the Halloween goal happen. We're pretty much guaranteed for it to happen if you pledge now, okay? <clears throat> so if there were any people holding out, okay, please go ahead and. You know, feel, feel assured 
that your pledge is going to go towards the good cause of doing the monthly goal, and we're going to be doing the Halloween marathon, all right? Sound good? So, that's at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. Any pledges that you, you know, pledge to that directly help me out. They allow me to pay my bills, like my electricity, my internet, which is very expensive, by the way. Business class internet is no fucking joke. Um, in addition, they help me with the cost of games. As I just mentioned, six major releases in October. Plus, I'm sure there'll be more, so I'm going to be dropping in excess of three to $400 just on games in the month of October. So any help that you can lend is greatly appreciated. In addition, you earn personal perks for your pledges. For example, you get text or verbal thank yous in my videos. You can get premium forum access, so you can vote on these monthly events. You can get, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, your video, your videos. You can get your questions answered in my bi-monthly video Q&A series, Ask the King, which incidentally is happening in October, okay? Or you can even get a private Q&A video made. And that, uh, you know, anyone who's gotten that usually is, has loved it. And I go above and beyond. I try to do as much as I can, you know, 20 plus minutes long answering your questions. So, great stuff for, for perks. Please check it out. Patreon.com forward slash DarkSideFill. And again, it looks like we're hitting the funding goal for this month. So, if you were, oh no, I'm not sure if we're going to hit it. I don't know if we should pledge or not. No, it looks like we're hitting it. Should not be an issue. And please consider pledging to be part of the event. All right? Sound good? <clears throat> okay. Now, let's see here. Um, I guess I should mention Teespring. I've been mentioning it a few times over the past uh, week. Actually, there was one person who bought a few things from Teespring, which is nice. You know, folks, for a lot of people, it's autumn. It's the fall season. You might need a nice sweatshirt or a hoodie to go outside. Well, guess what? Those things are available on my Teespring. You know, tons of different fan-created logos, artwork, high-quality stuff. I personally own one, two, three, three Teespring shirts and a mug. And it's great stuff. I love it. So please consider grabbing a nice piece of swag if you do not have one. Uh, they are awesome stuff, high quality, all right? Hey, Christmas is coming up. Wouldn't you like a nice I Hate Skeletons t-shirt stuffed into your stocking? How about a Manga DSP shirt? <laughs> or what about a, a nice Skull Logo mug? That's right. What do you think Santa drinks out of? He drinks out of the Skull Logo mug, of course. All right, I'm just being silly now. <laughs> all right, but anyway, check it out. The link there, teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash DSP Gaming. And then, last but not least, folks, if you're watching today's live stream and you're having fun and you're enjoying it and you're like, man, I am happy that Phil kind of came back to fighters in the way that he has. Because, you know, all summer, well, let's face it, earlier this year, I played a ton of fighters. I played Injustice 2, I played Tekken 7. Then over the summer, I played Ultra Street Fighter 2 all summer on a weekly basis. And now I'm playing Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. And as I said yesterday, <clears throat> if there is ongoing demand to see me keep playing fighters as it seems like there is, I would consider this being an ongoing series that I would probably do, you know, once a week. Okay? I would definitely consider that. Alright? So. If you like that. Wow, Phil came back to fighters. This is cool. I love his fighting game coverage. Man, Phil's going to be covering all these big AAA releases. I want to support that. Uh, you can either cheer, sub, or tip during the course of the stream. <laughs> if you do any of these things, I will give you a verbal shout-out on the pre-stream here. Alright? Or not on the pre-stream, but on the stream itself. Obviously, I'm playing fighting games today. I can't give you a shout-out during a match. But I will do my best between the matches to give you shout-outs. Okay? Fair enough? And then... If you cheer 50 bits or more, all right, if you tip me $2 or more, or if you sub to the channel and click the share button, you'll get an on-screen pop-up notification as well to tie in with your verbal thank you. So you get double recognition. You get verbal and visual, okay? And I'm very appreciative of everyone who has been cheering, subbing, tipping recently. Um, I hope we can keep it up because it's been really good in August and September. And if we can keep it up, you know, that's how we get we keep me here. What else can I say? Um, right now I'm in a, a time when... I don't even know what's going to happen. I don't know if in a few months, if I'll be here happy or if I will have to sell my house. I don't know. That's what sucks right now. I'm in a financially unstable situation. Um, there's a lot of other stuff going on behind the scenes that I've been alluding to that I haven't really fully explained. Uh, but your support is greatly appreciated and it is helping everyone. So thank you for that. <clears throat> okay? Now, <clears throat> if you are choosing a way to support, you're like, man, I... I was going to either, you know, cheer, sub, or tip today, but I'm wondering what's the best thing right now. Right now, the best thing you can do is tip, because by tipping me, I get those funds right away, and I can put it straight towards bills, all right? Uh, right now, I need the help, because until mid-October hits, and I get paid for my really good performance from back in August, um, I am in a very financially tight position. I'm hoping once I get paid in October, I'll be in a good position for the rest of the year, at least, and I won't have to be bringing this up anymore. But if you could, I'd prefer if you could tip me. It would help me out tremendously, all right? In particular, with the cost of games and everything coming up soon, too, I've been using all the tips funds to buy all the new releases, and I would like to continue doing so. <clears throat> all right. So let's go ahead and do some shout-outs, and then we'll get started. Sound good? 
All right, um, well, it's been pretty slow, so it's gonna be a, sh a short shout-out session here. Overnight, it looks like Game Master 2003 is dead, did a 40-bit cheer, and Golden Colts did a 90-bit cheer. Again, thanks to you two. I know you guys aren't always here for streams, but the fact that you cheer overnight for me is really appreciated. Thank you, thank you. I got a dollar tip from the voice in my head. It says, sorry, my, my, my budget has run out, so I, I must cease on the hopefully inspirational tip messages for now. There'll be a while till I can do them again, so I'll leave you with this. Hashtag DSP positive and tips hat. Uh, yeah, this person... Every couple days has been leaving like a dollar tip and saying something pretty inspirational, which is very nice. <clears throat> and very appreciative. <clears throat> very appreciated, I should have said. Excuse me. Um, any positive messages are always appreciated. So thank you for that. And uh, very nice. And I got a dollar troll tip that I'll ignore. And uh, and then a cheer from Buttamania89 who did a 35-bit cheer. Thank you, Buttamania, for your cheer. All right. So that is it. Short, short shout-out session today. Typically, this takes like 15 to 20 minutes, but... I don't know. I think what's happening, folks, is, you know, I've been playing Marvel now for a week, and the hype was real hype at the beginning, and now, let's face it, after doing anything for a week, it gets kind of tired, and I get that. I'm hoping that tomorrow, maybe we get a little bit more interest, um, because, uh, I'll be playing the viewers, but it's cool, because, you know, I'm only playing this for two more days. I'm playing this for today and tomorrow, and then Friday, we start with Cuphead, something new, right? <clears throat> so, yes, folks, should be fun. Week here. A lot of stuff coming up before, uh, you know, before we get into uh, a little bit of time off. And then, boom, giant releases when I come back, right? Sound good? <clears throat> oh, I just got a cheer from 47766 to the 10-bit cheer. It says, Phil, who knows when Player uh, Unknown's Battlegrounds is going to come out on Xbox? You should play the new Fortnite Battle Royale update that just came out. Free to play. It plays more arcade and it's cartoony. Yeah, but it's also a big issue where the makers of Players Unknown's Battlegrounds are saying that they stole assets from them. <laughs> like, I don't know if I support that. You know what I mean? Like, Fortnite, FYI, folks, did not sell very well. It sold okay, but nowhere near what Epic Games would be expecting for a game that they sell. So now they're like, oh shit. So we gotta make people be aware of Fortnite. Let's quick, let's release a free-to-play free mode so there'll be more awareness out there. <laughs> and it seems like they may have literally copied and or stolen game assets that were created by Player Unknown's Battleground. To make their own version of their game that's very similar to Player Unknown's Battleground. To the point where there's rumors that the developers of Player Unknown's Battleground may be suing Epic Games. So I know everyone's like, oh, it's free to play, it's hype, let's play it. But I don't know, man. I don't know if I support that shit, you know. I mean, I'm not saying anything about the quality of the game, I have no idea, but still, like, that's fucked up. If this is true, that's really fucked up. So just because Player Unknown Battleground pays a licensing fee to use the Unreal Engine. <laughs> Epic steals their fucking game. That's literally what, what they're accusing them of. They're saying, you stole elements from our game, um, you know, that we created in your engine and, you know, approved through you, and you took it to make your own game to hype up your own release, which didn't sell well, by the way. <laughs> that is kind of a fucked up situation, man. I don't know. <clears throat> but I don't know. I mean, some people are like, I should play it. I don't know. I mean, I could. I do have a few days here coming up before time off, right? I've got Friday I'm playing Cuphead, Saturday I'm definitely playing Cuphead, but we don't know how long Cuphead is. I don't know if Cuphead's going to be a game that I'm going to be playing Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and Tuesday. You know what I mean? So maybe if I finish up early, I could do a session of this Fortnite thing or whatever. Because people seem interested in whatever the hell it is because it's free. But I don't know if I support the whole situation of what's going on with this shit. Like, it sounds pretty shady to me. You know what I mean? I don't know. Alright, um, shout out to C. Dick. C. Dick, who's tipped me before, just tipped me five dollars. It's nice to see a stream when I get home from work. Hope you enjoy the stream, C. Dick. Um, Javon just did a ten-bit cheer. It says, "Looking forward to see co to see you cosplay as Diva or Mercy for Halloween." Um, rest assured, I will not be cross-dressing for Halloween. That's a whole different event. <laughs> That's a whole different Patreon goal that we'll set up in the future. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um. And shout out to 47766 who did another 10 bit cheer and said, Phil, let's be honest, Epic Games made Gears 2, which was the first game to have Horde mode, and every game just copied that afterward and they didn't sit. Um, I guess that's true. Many games did copy it. Even Halo copied it, right? Halo copied Horde mode. Hmm. I guess it makes sense at the same time. I think what PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds is accusing Fortnite of doing is literally stealing their game assets, not just the idea, but the actual things that they developed for the Unreal Engine. They took them and put them into their own game. If that's the case, that's really bad. But I don't know if there's evidence of that or not. All right, folks. That is it for pre-stream. Let us end pre-stream. Let us begin with ranked play. All right? 
a good three and a half hours of ranked play here. Like I said, I'm hoping to hit rank 10 and get that final trophy today. I don't know if I will, because as you're seeing now, as I'm in rank 11, I'm basically 50-50 playing people who are either constant combo spam rushdown that I can't block online, or people who actually have interesting strategies. It's kind of a 50-50 mix. So, you know, I'm, I'm winning basically 50-50, and when you're winning 50-50, you can't really rank up. So, we'll see how it goes today. <clears throat> Alright, everybody. Let's begin. It's time. Marvel time. It's Marvel time, baby. Alright, here we go. <laughs> 